Let's cover the updates to the design stations and flat patterns in NX2306. You'll see here we have a completed design uh, already defined with a bunch of plies and producibility results. So we'll go ahead and launch the design station command. Pick a point on the screen and you'll see the summary information show up in the dialog as well as on the, uh, on the screen. And as we move this point around, you'll see the uh, total number of components will update accordingly. Once I access the design station in the tree, I can go ahead and take a look at the information window. And here's where you'll see the new information on 2306. So in addition to the component table and the orientation table, we now have apply fiber directions table that's been added that reports all of the actual uh, warp and weft fiber angles as determined by the producibility simulation. And in this case, we have valid results for all plies except for ply eight. So in ply eight's example, the warp and weft angle is, both, is not applicable. That would be true if it didn't have a producibility at all or if the producibility results had been cleared. So to resolve that, we can go ahead and add a producibility for uh, ply eight, pick a point. So I'm in the middle of the ply here, go ahead and run the producibility. And without updating anything, we can go check the design station and you'll see the warp and the weft angle has now been reported and updated for that. Next, let's take a look at the flat patterns. So you'll see when I go ahead and generate, publish a flat pattern, uh, I get a new message that says that it's been created in a separate view. All flat patterns have now been migrated to use their own dedicated view. So if I go ahead and activate this as the work view, you see all of my flat patterns in my part actually show up. I no longer have access to the model geometry. And we can see it gets a little bit cluttered with all these flat patterns here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my flat patterns in from my show and hide toolbar, very useful for working with composites. And now I can interact independently with each flat pattern. So here you see the results of the flat pattern uh, from that particular uh, item. You can hide and show it, you can select it. Uh, and if I act, go back to my uh, regular view here, <clears throat> and I just wanted to double check and see that my flat pattern results in my preview, you'll see you have the same basic display as what is now shown in the uh, flat pattern view. So I have dashed lines for my holes as well as an origin and direction display that shows up as well.